Hello my lovely viewers and welcome back to my YouTube channel Strings and Gale. I understand that it is very difficult to start learning the violin but don't worry guys because I am here to help you and I'm gonna teach you the first thing that you need to do. Today is our first violin tutorial series which is all about how to hold your violin and of course your bow. Now let's start with the bow. Make sure that you have your bow with you so that you could follow. So the first thing that you should remember is we always use our right hand to hold the violin bow. The first step to hold the violin bow is to place, uh, I mean to carve your middle finger and ring fingers like this. It should be carved like this. And then place it here where the eye of the bow is located. So it should be like this. It should be curved as possible. Next step is that you need to put the tip of your thumb below the leather part of the violin bow. So this is the leather part of the bow and you need to put your thumb, tip of your thumb right here. It should be curved as well. Next is that you need to place your pinky finger near the end tip of the bow. So this is the end tip of the bow and you need to place it right here, which is slightly away from the ring finger. Every finger should be curved as possible. Next is to place your index finger on the leather part of the bow. So it should look like this. Again, always remember that your fingers on your violin bow should always stay curved because that's the correct practice especially when you are playing the violin. Now let's proceed with the violin and how to hold it properly. So if you are sitting, make sure that you are sitting properly just like this. Shoulders are straight and chest forward. Don't slouch. Don't do this. Don't do like that because if you're playing like this, it's showing that you are not really confident playing the violin. So always sit properly. <laughs> Next, you need to put your violin in between your left shoulder and neck. And then put your chin onto the chin rest of your violin. So this is the chin rest and you need to put your chin on here, on it. So it should be like this. And always remember that your violin should always be in straight or horizontal position. It shouldn't be like this. Mm -mm. It shouldn't be like this. Mm -mm. It should always be horizontal. And the weight of the violin should always be on your shoulder while you are holding it firmly with your chin and neck so that you can hold it like this. If you put 
the weight of the violin on your left hand like this then you won't be able to freely move your left hand on the fingerboard of the violin because you're blocking it that's why the weight of the violin should always be on your left shoulder and neck so that you can move freely to position your left hand put your thumb right here It should be like this. Curve as well. And curve your four remaining fingers onto the fingerboard. Now that you know how to hold your violin and your bow, then we will figure out how it works together. So we will be learning a very easy song which is entitled Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars. So as a beginner, you should always remember that you should always start learning the easy song first before learning the harder songs. Violin has four strings. First string is what we called E or Mi. They are just the same thing. Second string is what we called A or La. Third string is what we called D or Re. And last or fourth string is what we called G or Sol. These are the notes. For the twinkle twinkle little stars now let's learn the first line so the la la is your second string and then the mi mi is your first string and then your fi which is also the same as fa sharp is on the first string and right here this is me open string first string this is fa and then this is fi and then the last note which is me is your first string la la mi the second line so on this line we are going to use your second string it's la la ti do re re so your re is right here re 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 and then next we have D, which is also the same as Do sharp. Now back again we have La Ti Do. When you say Do, do sharp, just half step, half step from natural Do, so it's it's right here. That's D D or Do sharp. Re re di di Re re di di Next, we have ti ti La ti So this is your ti La ti This is ti 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 And then we have the natural La Second string open we have re re di di ti ti la. Then we have the third line, which is mi mi re re di di ti. So we are going to repeat it 
twice. Now, since you already know where these notes are located on the violin, then we can play it like this. Mi, mi, re, re, ti, di, ti. That's your third line. So we're going to use down bowing and up bowing. Down, up, down, up. So that's the bowing of our bow. Now we have the first line on the screen. Those are the notes. And let's try it at the count of three. One, two, three, go. That's the first line. One more time. Great, you got it. That's the first line. And the second line we have re re di di ti ti la. That's the second line. One more time at the count of three. One, two, three, play. Very good, you got it. And now we have the third line, which are mi, mi, re, re, di, di, ti. Now I will play it first. Repeat one more time. Great, that's it. And then let's combine all of them together. At the count of three, and then we will play. One, two, three, go. I know that you are doing your best to learn this song so keep it up you will get there one day just be patient because this is one of the most important recipes to successfully learn the violin now before I end up this video don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social medias <laughs> that's it for today I hope you learned a lot from me so yeah, see you on my next violin tutorial series. Bye!